Let's start. Today we will learn about a famous problem in the TradingView Pine script. The problem is called, Indicator Repainting. When we try to code and collect the higher time frame data in the Pine script, we need to use a function called, Security Function. This function, by default, collects the higher time frame data without even cross-checking if the higher time frame bar is currently live, or if the bar is a historically closed bar. So this function collects whatever data available at the higher time frame and use it in the code calculations. And when the higher time frame bar closes and becomes a historic bar, this security function again collects the actual closed values from the higher time frames and repaints the entire chart. So when you use an indicator that has used this security function to collect the higher time frame data, the indicator would show one set of values when the market is live, and a different set of values when the higher time frame bar has closed and become a historic bar, or when the market hours have closed. So this phenomenon gives birth to a problem known as, indicator repainting. Let's understand this using some graphics. Suppose this is a current time frame, which is the 5 minutes chart. And this is the higher time frame, which is 15 minutes chart. Three bars on the 5 minutes chart create one bar on the 15 minutes chart. So if we try to collect the higher time frame data while these bars are live and making, the security function will try to collect any random data from the higher time frame, as the higher time frame bar has not completely closed yet. So the security function would repaint the indicator and the chart later. The data from the higher time frame would only be safe to use when the 15 minutes bar has closed. So its value would be useful for the next set of 5 minutes bar chart. In this case, the security function won't repaint the indicator in the chart. Let's see the code now. This is the indicator function with name, indicator repaint. Here we have used the security function. The first argument is the current stock name. The second argument is the higher time frame. We have used the weekly time frame here. And the last argument is the value to be collected from the higher time frame. We are collecting the close value. And finally, we plot this variable. Let's add this indicator to the chart. We are currently on the daily time frame, and our indicator will be collecting the data from the weekly time frame. I will replay this indicator to see what values this indicator collects in the live market, and I will mark some values on the chart. And then we will see what values this indicator collects when the higher time frame bar has closed and has become a historic bar, or when the market hours have closed. So as you can see, the indicator displayed one set of values when the market was live, and a completely different set of values when the higher time frame bar was closed completely. So this indicator repaints. Now let's see how to solve this issue. 
In the security function, we will write this bracket 1 in front of the close. So that this function would wait for the higher time frame bars to close completely and then only collect their values. Bracket 1 basically means, the previous completely closed bar's value. Then we handle the gaps using the bar merge.gapsoff attribute. And finally, we keep the look ahead attribute to on, which keeps looking for the higher time frame data safely. Let's test this indicator. I will replay this indicator to see what values this indicator collects in the live market, and I will mark some values on the chart. And then we will see what values this indicator collects when the higher time frame bar has closed and has become a historic bar, or when the market hours have closed.